Hello friends. So we'll continue our discussion related to mapping and simplification of POS expressions using SOP K map. So so far we have discussed relate the questions related to three variable uh, expressions and three variable K maps. So here we'll shift to four variable expressions. So here we have a POS expression, four variable POS expression given in terms of the max term values and we have a four variable SOP K map. So first thing is that we will map this whole expression into this K map. So 0, 2, 8, 9, 12, 13, 15. So 0, 2, 8, 9, 12, 13 and 15. So the grouping can be done as first here we can form a quad. Then we will form a pair. And here we will form a pair. So total three groups are formed. So we have formed all the groups. Now we have to identify the common variables. So directly we'll do okay. For this pair here involving cells 0 and 2. On the horizontal side we have A bar B bar common. So A bar B bar will be there. In the vertical side we have D bar common. D bar d bar here d bar there so d bar will be there so that is one next for this pair involving cells 13 and 15 in the horizontal side we have a b common a b okay so a b will be there in the vertical side we have d common in these two d is common in the vertical side so d will be there Next, for this quad involving cells 12, 13, 8 and 9, 8, 9, 12, 13, in the horizontal side, we have A common. In the horizontal side, we have A common. And in the vertical side, we have C bar common. So, we have identified all the common variables. Now, this is all in SOP form this but we need it in POS form so simply what we will do is that we will take the complement of it okay y bar a bar b bar d bar a b d a c bar simply take the complement so the result will be D Morgan's theorem applied A bar A bar D bar A B D bar okay and A C bar whole complement. So the result will be A or B or D when D Morgan theorem is applied to here then A bar or B bar or d bar when d morgan's theorem is applied here and here it will be a complement or c this is the required result pos simplified expression this okay a or b or d a bar or b bar or d bar and a bar or c so simply this step is very important taking the complement of the obtained expression okay so this is the first question related to four variable k map okay for pos expression using sop k map so this is the sixth question related to simplification of pos expressions using sop k map so we have a pos expression here 
given in terms of the max term values and we have the SOPK map here with us. So first step will map all of these uh, max term values into this SOPK map. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have mapped everything. Now we will form the grouping. So here we will form a quad. Then here we will form one big octet. Okay, so two groups, one quad, one octet, all the marked cells have been covered. Now we have to identify the common variables. So you see, for this quad here involving cells 8, 9, 12, 13, from the horizontal side we have A common. Okay, and on the vertical side we have C bar common. C bar and C bar. A and C bar okay now for this octet involving cells 0 1 3 2 8 9 11 12 in the horizontal side we have B bar common here also B bar here also B bar and uh, in the vertical side there is nothing common in the vertical side there is nothing common so this is the required expression which is an SOP form but we need the POS format. So simply we'll take the complement, the AC bar or B bar whole complement. We'll apply De Morgan's theorem, which we'll get. So it will be complement or C B. This is the required POS format this this okay a complement or C and B. this is the required POS expression a complement or C and B okay